Sure, slow weapons are easy to avoid, but still fun in duels. In Elden Ring, if you have a build with, say, two giant crushers, there's absolutely zero chance you will hit the invading rivers of blood. Bro, if you can't hit a rivers of blood spammer with two gray clubs, that is a skill issue, my guy. <laughs> They're spamming rivers of blood. Jump attack them. <laughs> what? Uh Oh, oh, or dual vike spear. Okay, better example. Trade with them. Trade with them with your giant clubs. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. I don't know why I'm finding so much uh, good stuff today. Casting spells isn't brainless. It takes careful thinking about casting recovery times. Okay, that's, that's, that's a usable point. Swinging around a giant bonk stick is, what, is what's brainless. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. We just read a guy who's talking about how hard it was to link up. So maybe it's not. <laughs> maybe you actually do need to swing your bonk stick at a reasonable time. Like maybe for trades or something. No, trading takes math. So bonking, bonking actually takes more math than casting spells. Because all you have to do is count to count uh, to cast spells. You just have to count apparently. And enable to swing your brainless bonk stick for a trade, you also have to count how much damage they do, and then add both. And then <laughs> see, boom! Confirmed. Strength builds take more brains than mage builds based on math. Boom! Hey, dodging in PvP may be impressive, but watching duelists constantly rolling on the ground feels a bit stupid. Dodging, in my opinion, shouldn't be allowed in the arena. You should go in with the health and absorptions you already have. <laughs> what? what is up with this dog? <laughs> Optional invasions would be great, and I think they would increase the quality of invasions. Everyone involved would be there to enjoy invasions, and there are plenty of Dark Souls vets that would have turned it on. Uh, my brother. My brother and Ronnie. Uh, invasions are already optional. <laughs> you have to opt in to multiplayer. A good day, sir. <laughs> what is this tier list, man? <laughs> Sekiro S? Blo oh! <laughs> I see. <laughs> Man, they got me. They got me good. Best item. Lantern? Flask? Flask? Crafting? Physic? Memory stone? Sword keys? Boluses? Talisman pouches? I don't know. I'd trade boluses. If I, if I had to pick between the boluses or the lantern, I'd pick the lantern. Lantern's pretty cool. I know a lot of people likely disagree, but I really think gear swapping should be locked either while you're in combat or at least when you enter the arena. It, is obvious, it obviously isn't the intended way to play, and I don't blame the players that do it. They enjoy playing by being absolutely optimized in every way and win at, all. <laughs> at any cost, even if it means practicing a mechanic that is objectively bad and not fun. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't find gear swapping to be not fun or objectively bad. I do find it weird that it's used competitively like i feel like nah, i mean i guess you could switch heroes in overwatch it's like the same thing at least that's how i see it so it doesn't seem like that big of an issue because if you already have a good setup you don't have to worry about it switching talismans can be weird if you don't know they did it <laughs> but as long as you know they switched the talisman then you're fine but if you want to keep up with people that are hard swapping their weapons, you have to do the same. That's not true. I don't hard swap at all, actually. I don't hard swap uh, at all because I use dual halberds and I've been using them since the beginning of the game. So I don't really need to. I don't... Like, what am I going to do? Switch to a, a greatsword? Like, what? Pretty much when I'm using anything other than halberds, I figure that, like, I'm just a worse player. So why would I switch? <laughs> 
basically just because of playtime. I'm, I'm, it's, speaking of Overwatch, I'm basically a one shirt cowbird. I'm not. I, I really ain't, but I think it's funny. Uh, anyway. Yeah, you don't have to do the same. But it makes everything silly and tedious while also invalidating the extra equip slots for the weapons. I don't know. I like soft swapping. I like soft swapping because you can just bring it out of, out of nowhere in really weird areas. Anyone who hard swaps, you can kind of see them like running away a bit. It would just make the PvP feel better overall. Slightly help build diversity. What? Switching your build in the middle of a fight helps build diversity. What are you talking about? <laughs> and focus the learning curve on the actual combat mechanics, in my opinion. There's a reason swapping gear is locked in almost every other game that involves PvP. That is a good point. However... I don't think From Software really cares about how sweaty people are in PvP. I think they let that be an element that the players kind of navigate. Um, I don't know. I I look. I don't hard swap, but not because I. Th think it's bad for the game or anything but i don't hard swap because i don't find it necessary i'd rather just try to read what the opponent is doing and and luckily when they switch weapons i see what weapon they're using so i can adjust my strategy based on that and i don't know it, it actually it's more satisfying for me to just beat players using my kit and seeing them switch their kit you know what i mean like, I, I really don't find it necessary to hard swap if you already have a good kit. Or overall, like a, a balanced kit for every situation. I want to say halberds are that. Halberds can get uh, pressured really easily if you go in their face and like uh, and you're fast. If you're in... If you're in their face and you're fast, you can take down halberds because their stationary attacks are very slow. You know what I mean? So that's why I soft swap to a hammer. And if someone's in my face, I just spam R1 with the hammer and it just hits them because it's super fast. But yeah, that's what, I don't know. That's why I soft swap at least just for that one situation. I don't need to switch up my entire build because someone's using Bloodhound Step though. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think this is the... Uh, this is a hot take, I guess, at least. To me, it seems like Confessor is the absolute most boring of all the classes Good starting defense and healing spells. Good, you can stay alive and do zero damage. It's for beginners and people who don't know what they're doing. Bro, you're saying they have no damage. But they start with the broadsword, man. They have square off. It. <laughs> Apparently, it's dripped. Draped up and dripped out. Know what I'm talking about. Well then, shall we?